A first listen of Mac Miller's Tiny Desk Concert Part 2. Okay, now into the actual song reaction. This is part two of Mac Miller's Tiny Desk NPR concert. The first part I did maybe three weeks ago. Um, as I was saying in part one, as a hip hop head, for whatever reason, I've kind of missed out on Mac's music. Um, I caught some of his earlier stuff, but missed out on this evolution that Mac went through. However, I have another friend who's a hip hop head who keeps on bugging me to check out Mac's music. He says like, you know, I know your taste in music and I feel like Mac's style really, really suits your taste. And he's been right so far. That first track was brilliant. Um, it was sort of a day in the life of Mac where like the first three quarters of it, he was in a really good, sober, present headspace. And it took this dark shift towards the end where his addictions and his issues started to come out. Great concept for a track. Uh, this is the second second song in his performance. Um, it's with Thundercat, who is a brilliant underrated musician. He's a bass player and a vocalist, a multi-instrumentalist multi also, I should say. Um, also, Mac is a great live performer, man. Very, very good live performer. This track is called What's the Use? And I'm excited to hear it. So let's get into the music. Okay, here we go. We're going to continue from where we left off, from the uh, just the last performance. <laughs> It's a great set, by the way. Looks really, really cool. All right, all right. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, this song's called What's the Use? That was called Small Worlds, right? That's enough talking. <laughs> Solid. You've heard enough. All right. <laughs> That's a cool effect. Very yeah. spacey. Ton of cat on that bass. Feel good music. Yeah. You can love it, you can leave it. Singing nothing without it, yeah. Don't let them keep you down. What if I don't need it? But there's something about it, yeah. And that just freaks me out. Yeah, I just want another minute with it. Fuck a little, what's the use, yeah? Okay, Mike. Never superficial, you gon' know it when it hits you. Get a little center. It's really cool to see how like Mac has this in his repertoire, which some rappers don't have. That is, he can mix melody and rhythm together so well. So like a lot of choruses, rappers will sort of employ another artist to come on and sing in the same way like Jay-Z can't do this. Jay-Z doesn't often... Uh, take his his uh, his choruses like this where he can mix melody and rhythm like that Jay-Z doesn't have a great singing voice he'll like employ an Alicia Keys to come in and bring the melody whereas Mac can go back and forth so effortlessly with with such ease um, he's also a very very natural live performer man he seems really in his element here which is which is pretty cool um, yeah super great track so far let's back this up a little bit Never superficial, you gon' know it when it hits you. Get a little center, men will win them off the juice, yeah. Yeah, okay, we colder than the breeze, but the breeze ain't blowing like me, motherfucker. Hold up, you don't need to hold up. <laughs> and I can show you what it seems, what it is, what it truly might be, nothing that you know of. You don't need to hold up. I'm so above and beyond. Take drugs to make it up, way up or beyond. Space shuttle ah. is on. Time we don't waste much. Fuck when we wake up, then I have her saying just like Celine <laughs> on. Catch me if Boss. I can, but he never catch me. Damn. Whole lot of yes, I am. All the way in with no exit plan. Already left in the jet, don't land. Yeah, the time is ticking. Come take a ride, get inside. This is highly different. I'm talking fly, got a pilot with him. Yeah. Can I mind my business? Why you tripping? Give you something that your eyes can witness. Ooh, you're too close. I don't understand why you're doing the most. You gotta do this thing when rappers are going in, the flow gets crazy. You gotta do it. You can't even like bop anymore. You gotta do this kind of like head shaking thing. I'm gonna take it back to that bit again. Here, hold on. You don't need to hold up. Cause 
I'm so above and beyond Take drugs to make it up, way up where we on Space shuttle Elon Time we don't waste much fuck when we wake up Then I have her sang just like Celine Dion Catch me if you can, but you never catch me Damn, whole lot of yes I am All the way in with no exit plan Already left in the jet Check out land. this pocket Get the time, it's ticking Come take a ride, get inside This is highly different I'm talking fly, got a pilot with him Yeah, can't mind my business Why you tripping, give me something That your eyes can witness Ooh, you're too close I don't understand why you're doing the most. Okay. Really, really cool track, man. I love the musicianship on display. This is really like a live performance going on, man. We've got a guitarist, the bass, the drums, the keys. Everyone seems to be in sync together and the chemistry is off the hook. And I really love the way Mac chooses to deliver his vocals. Now, he sort of, in a way, takes inspiration, I think, from someone like James Brown. I know a lot of rappers do, but James Brown had a style that was wholly unique to himself in his era, where he was kind of rhythmically delivering, like, almost like... They weren't even lyrics. They were just random noises. You'd just be like, huh, and just... But it was done with, like, style, with such rhythm, with great delivery, like in this sort of sense of this groove, this bounce, and like Max in a similar pocket to him. Really, really cool. Again, another, uh, just to say it again, he's a great, great live performer, and he seems very much at ease. To speak on the themes of this track, a lot, a constant in Max music seems to be this idea of um, keeping your chin up um, throughout any negativity. And this is sort of a similar, theme that he's delivering again but throughout the verse he'll still have an ability to sprinkle in funny one one-liners the way like uh, a Lil Wayne would or um, a Big L would have like he's got these great little one-liners like Space Shuttle Elon then I have a thing just like Celine Dion um, I love this line here he says all the way in without an exit plan already left and jet don't land yes the time is ticking come take a ride get inside man he's got great great flow honestly um, let's take it back Ooh, you're too close I don't understand why you're doing the most mm. You can love it, you can leave it I'm singing nothing without it Yeah, Don't let them keep you down What if I don't need it There's something about it And that just freaks me out yeah. Hey man, the guitarist is doing damage I just want another there if they don't get the picture cut them out of that frame whew, i feel that one fuck um man what a great great verse what a great verse um again a lot of the themes mac presents is uh is carrying on through any sort of difficulties that you may may face in your life look how far we came still the throwing dirt on my name which is true i think it's something that matt carried for a while where like people had this idea of him when he first started that he wasn't a real rapper he didn't make real hip-hop music for whatever reason you know he's a white guy you know it's a it's a predominantly black uh, style of music they maybe thought he was just in it to make a buck or something, but he's he proved himself over time. And this guy became an expert rapper. Think of like the flows, the pockets that he's hitting in this track over such a brilliant beat as well. Um, man, love the vibes in this thing. Beautiful track. Take it back a little bit. What it is till it ain't. Oh, it would have been great, by the way, to have Snoop Dogg on this as well. It's supposed to be Snoop Dogg and Mac Miller. Thank you. 
Thunder Cat on the vocals. Yeah, you can love it, you can leave it. Singing nothing without it. Don't let them keep you down. What if I don't need it? Something about it that just freaks me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just want another minute with it. Fuck a little. What's the use? Yeah. Never superficial, you gon' know it when it hits you Get a little center, pen a when I'm off the juice, yeah Great song, feel good song, a lot of great themes in there, brilliant musicianship. I mean, this this band, I don't know if it's actually his live band, but uh, yeah, they're doing a great job, man. They've got great chemistry together. And uh, some really uplifting things, man. Staying positive through negativity, staying real to yourself, which is also a constant theme in uh, Max writing, the idea of never superficial. Um, great song, man. Feel good track. I can't wait for the third part. Two thumbs up.